So, continuing on today, day number three. This video, I want to address something. Yesterday was International Bagpipe Day. I think that's how it's how it's worded. Anyway, yesterday was International Bagpipe Day, and it's great that it's being brought to the forefront to people that know what bagpipes are. That's truly the only people that know that it exists and anyone who's involved in Scottish culture. My take on things is, much like everything, I, I will tell you I am the farthest from the elitist um, in the mindset of music in general. I personally love, uh, have loved since I was a teenager, heavy metal, uh, very heavy music. Um, there's a stopping point to where it's no longer music to me, it's just noise, but I'm very open-minded. I love jazz, I love um, some pop and stuff like that. But anyway, getting to, into more of the mainstream, it's because when I talk to people in the mainstream music sense, uh, you know, I talk to producers and stuff all the time that are in the mainstream medium as opposed to the Celtic medium. And the Celtic medium, seems to be very insular and very elitist i'm just putting it out there you can agree or disagree with me whatever it's my opinion and it's what i have seen in the circles that i run in um, so much so that it, it, it because it bothers me um because i hear the conversations for groups and individuals within the celtic scene who don't understand why they've never been able to break through into a bigger sense. Yeah, I mean, you get the Floggy Mollies and the, the Dropkick Murphys. The, the thing that they're missing with that is, and I'm not a fan of either one of those bands in particular, but the thing that they have is, is the lead singer for Floggy Molly was in a hair metal band in the 80s out of Ireland. I can't remember their name, but look it up. He, he seriously was the singer for a hair metal band and decided to go the Irish traditional route, uh, you know, going back to his roots. But he went at it with the, probably the same mentality they had for the heavy metal band. And think about the guys in Dropkick Murphys. They're in Boston. They're punk rock musicians. They're not Celtic musicians, okay? They just happen to have that Celtic flair. And I'm not gonna get into it about people telling me that there's bagpipes in certain songs of theirs when there isn't. But aside from that, trying to figure out a way of putting it into the mainstream really it's, it's, it's our own fault and that's what I want people to kind of understand is it is our fault that people don't pay attention to our music they think it's a weird hokey thing because truly it is to the rest of the world what we do is hokey it is not something that people take seriously right the one the one band that I know that most people know is the Chieftains okay outside of the Celtic circles and I'm not sure exactly why but they have been around for a long time and they built up and they they probably had a lot of lucky breaks too in the time that they came out that's another thing that people don't realize and in mainstream media a lot of luck plays into it being in the right place at the right time and it seems that there has never been a right time but it's also because people are not putting themselves into the right place at the right time when it comes to Celtic music. So that's just my thoughts today. It's something that's been kind of weighing on my mind as I as I talk to more mainstream producers and stuff. And if I mention I play bagpipes, they, they freak out. But to me, I'm kind of like, you know, they're, they're, a lot of these guys, their one point of reference is Jonathan Davis of, of Korn. And personally, he's a shit player. But he is the only person that's ever done something where it actually brought it to the forefront to where it was kind of cool. And... I guess he's a nerd about the kind of stuff, but I, I don't really don't believe a whole lot of that. But he can he can contact me if he has a problem. If he looks at my page, if Jonathan Davis is watching my page, you know, contact me, bro. So that's my thoughts. That's uh that's what you get today, and I will see you tomorrow.